ai kila mara kwa mara ukifanya madoezi Apostle Musiri kuna na sauti yangu sasa tunafanya naye mazoezi kwa gym na zile zile ziko fit kabisa Ndio ndio ni mambo ya Mungu ye yeah, hapo fit kabisa Sasa hii hafla ni muhimu sana kwetu kama wana wana azimio Sasa Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Yohana John 1 that at the beginning there was word word was in god and the word was also still katika hiyo kitabu tu ya Yohana nane na mbili mpaka na tatu Jesus says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Kwa hiyo so leo tunasema ukweli. Kwa ukweli mtupu nothing but the truth. Sasa uh, marehemu askofu Desmond Tutu wa Afrika Kusini may the Lord bless his soul in peace. Alisema and without truth there can be no justice. Without justice there can be no reconciliation. Without reconciliation there can be no peace. Without peace there can be no development. Hayan ukweli mtupu. Ya kwamba bila ukweli atuwezi kukuwa na kwa bila ukweli atuwezi kukuwa na haki na bila haki atuwezi kukuwa na utengamano bila utengamano tutaweza kukuwa na amani na bila amani hakuna maendeleo leo tuko hapa kusherekea ushindi ushindi wa waipa na ushindi wa azimio la umoja wa nchi ya Kolombia. There's no doubt in our mind that azimio won the elections convincing. The facts are there. We got the highest number of members of parliament in the country. We got highest number of members of county assembly in Kansas. We also won a number of governors and senators. We won in most of the regions, in Nyanza, in Western, in the coast, in Lower Eastern, in Upper Eastern, in North Eastern, in a number of counties within the Rift Valley, in Nairobi, and according to the Minister of Lower, there were countries in the central province. With those kind of statistics, how could we lose the case? So we know that we won the election. And that's the reason why we talk with a lot of confidence that we won the election. And people know what it required. People saw what happened at, at uh, uh, um, Bombers of Kenya on the 15th of August. It has never happened anywhere in the world when the Electoral Commission, when the Parisian election disagreed publicly, out of seven members of the Electoral Commission, four said no to the results which were being announced by the Chairman of the Electoral Commission. Only two said yes jointly with the chair, their Chairman. Under normal circumstances, those results should not have been accepted. They should not even have, nobody should even have announced it. 
there's a dispute within the electoral commission. And that's why we talk with the confidence. Three and four. My little knowledge of arithmetic tells me that four is bigger than three. For the first time, I've seen a new map where three is bigger than four. We will not tire telling the truth. We want to make reading a very, very expensive enterprise. And nobody will ever again think of reading an election this country. Without resolving this matter convincingly, there is no peace in this country. <laughs> Kenyans will not go back to elections in 2027 and the election will be read again. It will never happen again. And we are going to tell them why it will not happen. It will not happen because Kenyans will not accept it. Now we have said, that we want to see the truth. You say that everybody was at fault. When we went to the court, we thought we would get justice in the Supreme Court. We did not get justice. We got, all we got was insults. Insults. My two see my two poo. Kwa sisi tumesema hata Supreme Court itachunguzwa. Itachunguzwa. Hii uamuzi ilitoka wapi? Kwa mfano, baada ya mata kome alisoma and I will quote the ruling that she is convinced beyond reasonable doubt that the IBC deployed virtual private cloud VPC virtual private cloud I don't know whether she was aware of what you're saying <laughs> at no time during the, the petition did any party submit that IEBC deployed a virtual private cloud it was never an issue we never submitted on it neither did the defense bring it up where, how did it come in the ruling? It shows that the ruling was written somewhere by somebody else. So the, all of this thing was written and requires a proper inter interrogation. We have said, therefore, that we have, we agree, we are not unreasonable people, that we will talk, we will negotiate. But the negotiations must be structured and must be constructive. All that our team has seen was nothing but stonewalling and time by. That's why we agreed with the chairman of our bipartisan team, Utin Yamol, say, stop it, stop the rubbish. And you will not go back until they have come down to say, a, B, C, D. <laughs> the issues which are contentious are clear. One, we have said that the must agree that the cost of living is too high for the people who came. Grandma Maisha me panda sana. Beya Oga me panda. Baro yiko ju. Beya mafuta yiko ju. We have petrol equal you. We have sugar equal you. At a steamer equal you. At a carrier sooner equal you. Punda and Choka. As if to add instant injury. But we could not give you the eta finance bill. Finance bill, which is an insult to the people of Kenya. People already are struggling to make ends meet. Now you're adding, you're not even paying. Now when I say that, you're paying, they're paying. 
Hilo lugo tunajua sana. Wakati ya bwana bwana Salat na bwana Sharif Nasir 